What's up guys? Adrian Barone here, back with another tutorial. Today we'll be doing a bald fade. You know, standard haircut for most military people, so what better person than to do it on than my boy Nava, man. Nava the Beast, great guy, super motivational. Y'all be sure to check out his YouTube and Instagram. I'll link them down below, man. Also, I wanted to add, if y'all haven't tried this self-cut tutorial that my brother posted a, a few weeks ago, and we redid it a week ago in a simplified version, check it out, man. We got a bunch of great feedback. And what better time than to cut your own hair or practice to cut your own hair than right now during this quarantine. We ain't going anywhere anyways. Man, I hope y'all can uh, learn a thing or two from this tutorial and uh, let's get to it. All right guys, to start this ball fade off, we're gonna go ahead and start with the zero to create our first guideline. And I'm gonna take this guideline all around the head. starting from both sides at the temple peak area and then connect them in the back. And be soft with these guidelines. Try not to dig the clip or two in. Kind of give it that C scoop motion. And for our second guideline, we're gonna go ahead and open up the lever all the way to create the half. And right here, I'm gonna just start working on each section individually. So I'm gonna just focus on his left side of the head. Now with my one guard, I'm gonna go ahead and close the lever and create another guideline. This is my one and a half guard. Go ahead and open the lever and continue the process. This is my number two with the lever open and with these higher guards, notice right here as I'm almost coming straight up from the head, I'm not really digging in or scooping out too much either. My number three with the level open will be my last guard that I'm going to use to clean up and doing the same motion that I did with the number two guard. And that pretty much cleans up the whole head. Sometimes I do need to use clipper over a comb but for the most part when the hair is short, that'll do. Now I got my one and a half guard lever halfway to start cleaning out that initial guideline that I created. Then I'm going to go ahead and close it all the way and continue the process. With my half guard lever halfway open, start flicking out at that line that I created with my half in the beginning. Using the corners of the clipper is really essential when it comes down to cleaning up the head. It really helps get those tight spots and dark areas. Right here I got my one guard with the lever open to be on the safe side. I'm going to start flicking out at that guideline that I created with my one and a half guard in the beginning. And with this one guard, I do a little bit of lever play. I'll close it halfway right here and then at times close it all the way. Just kind of depends, varies from hair to hair. For our last guideline, just put the lever halfway and start taking out that zero guideline that we initially started with. Using the corners really helps again. And then go ahead and open it all the way and continue the process.
right here, I close my lever just slightly from the half, just because I have still left a dark line. As you can see, the fade's already coming together right there. But to top it off and make things a little bit more tighter, I close it all the way to the zero again. And then just using the last few teeth to flick at that zero guideline. And using my trimmers right under the whole fade just to help the transition from the shaver to the fade. Removing all the hair and leaving a faint line at the top as our safety net basically just so we know how high up to take the shaver. And when we get to that faint line, now using the corners of the shaver to help not create another line. And there it is, fade is pretty much done. I'll just repeat the process for the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the labels on the bottom of the screen for the other side, just so y'all can watch and follow along. And as for the back, these same exact steps. I don't want to go over everything in Borea, but yeah, the same exact steps, guys. 
we are going to leave all the length on top but i'm going to remove a little bit of weight using my thinning shears just to help when styling Using my comb to get some of his hair out the way, just so I can edge up under his bangs basically. And to help structure my hard part, I'm going to use a little bit of gel. running the straight edge to the hard part just to help tighten things up a bit. Make sure you're shaving against the hair just to get a cleaner look. I usually blow dry the hair when styling but he already had a lot of volume and a natural style. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use my comb to run some product. The reason I use a comb is to pull that, basically to get the product from the hair follicle from the very bottom all the way to the top. That way we don't just clump a lot of gel at the very surface of the hair. Make sure you step back and clip away all those stray hair guys. Some semi-permanent hair dye just to tighten things up. comment down below letting us know what y'all think about this transformation guys don't forget to subscribe and to all my military folks thank you for your service until next time peace